An era full of great artists, consecutive highlights, and hit after hit. This is 20 years of spinning records. In this episode, we've got a producer and DJ duo with releases in the harder and more pumping spectrum of spinning records. Besides that, they've joined the label in an unusual way. This is Blaster Jack. First time we got in touch with spinning was because there was an ID going around on SoundCloud with the, the name Tsunami. It was just an ID. And a lot of people were commenting underneath and they felt like it was a Blast Jacks track, which was good for us because we never had a spinning release. So we thought, you know what, we're going to do something. Uh, yeah, let's something, jump on it. Yeah, let's jump on this hype and let's just see what, what will happen. So what we did basically, we decided in, um, in three hours to remake this track as much as we could back in the days. And uh, we dropped it on our SoundCloud. SID Tsunami and was for people what to decide. Our manager got a phone call the same night uh, from uh, I believe one of the a and from Spinning that we were disrupting their promo for this track and if we could please take it down. So we did, we decided to come together and we said like listen up if we can get it a, make it an official remix and make a good deal out of it you know we will we will take it offline. So that's the first time how we got in touch with spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a little nasty. We, we tricked it's, spinning. Yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah. worked. I mean like this was marketing wise this was a smart move. And that was uh, that was very important for us at the time. We did already releases and other big labels but spinning was still on a wish list. Um, so yeah it all came together and now we are here. Uh, honestly, personally, I'm a big fan of the old spinning stuff, which means uh, you guys had like Dorn. Before that, you had um, Reset. Reset Records was also part of spinning. Um, I was a big fan of this sound back in the days. So was, I was not producing this kind of music, but I was listening and enjoying it a lot. So for me, um, that was the definition of spinning back in the days. Spinning records uh, has always been on top of the game, especially here in Holland, as, as being a dance label. So. Yeah, you couldn't really ignore spinning records. I mean, they did the biggest releases already uh, since we were uh, teenagers, so... It's obvious. We know spinning records. Everyone knows. Before Blaster Jacks got in touch with spinning records, the two developed their music production skills during their studies. Producing music took a lot of time. That's why they decided to quit their studies. And that turned out to be a good choice. I think you just quit school. I was in my last uh, year of university, so we were still in school and music was just a hobby at the time. But uh, I remember we were already in touch with Tiesto, we spoke him a lot and um, we made this track together with Billy the Kid and sent it over to Tiesto and I remember very well I had like uh, I had some, some stuff to do for school. I was on my way back in the train uh, going to The Hague where we lived back then, where our studio was also. And uh, I remember getting a text from Tiesto saying like, yo, I love the track and I would like to sign it. And that was a huge thing. I mean, that's, it would still be a huge thing, of course, but like, I remember that moment was, was legendary. It was so good. To the beat of the drum. It came uh, very naturally, you know, I mean, we started, uh, it started as a hobby and we were mainly focused before Big Room on Latin House music, um, which was just because we were from the area, you know, like uh, Rotterdam, The Hague was really Dutch house, dirty house kind of stuff. And we enjoyed making that and we didn't even see anything further than that. We didn't know about the existence of the The world and, was The Hague. So, <laughs> the, the world was The Hague, yeah. so playing in the Hollywood in Rotterdam, that was like the biggest thing you could, you could achieve, right? never meant to be like a plan. I mean, of course, it, it, it was a plan in a way of like, yeah, that was really what we were hoping for, but we would never expect it will happen. But it did, so it was, uh, yeah, it was an amazing start of a big journey. Graffiti was a fun uh, it, was, it was fun, uh, it was fun. Uh, still, I wasn't satisfied about the, the final drop shout we had on the track. No, like that graph, right? yeah, like why the hell did we do that, you know, it sounds super shit, but somehow, I don't know, we still had a lot of, uh, lot of views on it, so that's good. Um, yeah, it was definitely a, a track that was favored by, the, by our crowd. We had a track Fate, ah. and we sent it over to Jorn, and Jorn was like, ah, you know what it is, it's, I don't know, it's like vocal with big room, I, I don't believe it's gonna work, and I have to pass on this one. We were like, ah, okay, that's a bummer. 
let's see. So it just got released by a just new startup label and it turned out to be a, a big hit. It was platinum in, in, in a, a few countries. Um, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jorn, thank you. <laughs> But I mean, after all, no, we had a, we did a lot of other big tracks here on spinning, so. Well, the reason why we started our own label was because we were playing a lot of big stages, a lot of main stages. We absolutely exploded and Big Room was at its peak and uh, we got a lot of demos from other guys. We already had a radio show, Maximize on Air, and we were like, okay, you know, there's so much talent out there that doesn't get signed on the bigger labels and they, they should um, deserve the spotlight we also got when we all started. Um, so from there we were like, hey, there's so much potential talent out there and we just want to give them a platform. I mean, it's it's music that's cool, but it's there's more than only being played by Blaster Jacks. We want to see it played by other DJs, enjoy, you know, let people enjoy from the tracks they can buy. Um, so yeah, we uh, we had a lot of uh, a lot of meetings uh, with Spinning, but also with a lot of other people where, which were interested. But uh, we ended up um, with Spinning because, I mean, we see Spinning as something that, that stands for quality, that is like, uh, something really important and once you be able to release there you've uh, set the bar for yourself as an artist so for us it was very important um, that we release on spinning I mean also for our own confidence in the studio. Perspective. We're very happy it's out now released after two years yeah. it feels good it, it was fun because we all we always want to do an album I think it's uh, you know it's an artist ego thing I mean you want to you know you, you're an artist when you've done an album that's what yeah. we think about you it, cannot so. call yourself an artist I think <laughs> when you don't have an album I mean it's an important thing for your career definitely um, so yeah we just started from scratch and we started with making songs instead instead of making club tracks and basically from there everything went very naturally and we started with singer-songwriters on small writing camps and it was a lot of fun and it was a different approach of making this music. Yeah, so yeah, in the end it turned out to be uh, pretty diverse, but I have to say in the end it's still very more big room-ish than we thought it would go halfway the process. Yeah. Don't stop, get it, get it. We're very grateful that they uh, still believe in us, <laughs> actually. And even though uh, in the beginning, the way how we uh, met each other, to say it like that, via the tsunami kind of thing, being you know uh, a part of their uh, disruption into the promo, that's all, all fun. I mean, like it, it's good that they uh, they still support us, and, and we really love Spin Records and uh, all the people working here are very professional and uh, very dedicated to the team. And I hope they feel the same way. Yo, we are Blaster Jacks. And we would like to congratulate Spinning Records and their whole team with their 20th birthday and hopefully uh, up to the next 20 years. 